XML. You can do anything here you want to programmatically. And you can also reference other beans, either within this configuration class or in another one. And we see that here with that bean here. So this book admin data source is being passed here to the set data source method. And it's uh, picking it up from this other at bean annotated method in the same configuration class. Now again, this is what we consider um, basically status quo or the best way to configure your applications with modern Spring applications. Composable stereotypes. So we saw earlier we had at service. That's what we call a stereotype. It's a, the generic term is a component. Um, and then we have things like uh, services, repositories, controllers. Those are different stereotypes. And when we talk about composable, we're talking about combining um, several different annotations to come up with our own custom annotations. Now, who knows? Everyone knows what an annotation is, right? I hope. Who knows what a meta annotation is? No one. I, you don't know? Meta annotation. Anyone? Are you? OK. <laughs> just just want to make sure at least you, you two know what it is. OK, so meta annotation is anytime you have an annotation on another annotation. So it's kind of used in a, in a meta sense. Um, it's very important to know that. Uh, if you ever look at the definition of or declaration of an annotation, they're all annotated with other annotations. You might see something like um, um, at retention or at, at target, stuff like that. So it's when you annotate physically in the, the source code, um, when you're defi defining an annotation, you put another annotation on top of it, that's a meta annotation. And that's a way to combine multiple annotations. Um, the reason this is necessary is that the, uh, the Java um, language gurus decided that they didn't want to have inheritance with annotations. So an anno annotation cannot inherit from another annotation. But you can annotate an annotation with another annotation. So in that sense, you kind of have this meta annotation hierarchy, so to speak. And we make use of that in Spring. Some other frameworks do as well. Basically, let's go say in here, you combine several meta annotations onto one custom stereotype. And these things are picked up 